guys, we are here, Taco Tuesday. We are gonna be doing some of our favorite dishes for you to, for you guys today. Um, first thing on the menu, we're gonna be putting together a an enchilada um, casserole. Not traditional enchiladas, we're gonna do a casserole. And um, behind me, I have Zaire is making some, what are you making Zaire? Zaire's making Rotel. We're gonna have beef tacos and then we're gonna have shrimp tacos, but I got a little twist surprise for you guys on that as well. So, um, we're about to get started. First thing, um, with our enchiladas, oh, excuse me. So, with our enchiladas, we have, um, I've got whole wheat tortillas here. That's because that's what I have in the cabinet. But it's gonna be chicken. I've already have, um, yeah, Bree, Zaire's cooking tonight. Um, we have our I, the chicken over here that's already been cooked and shredded. So we're gonna be using that. I have a, wait, what are you what? I'm so sorry. I didn't introduce uh, Sterling again today. Like I don't know him. I have a mixture of corn, black beans, and tomatoes. Um, Rotel tomatoes, it already has your, your, it already has your peppers in it. Sorry, uh, those two distracted me. So we're gonna get started putting this together because it has to go into the oven. I am gonna turn the oven on 350 and make sure nobody left anything in it. All right, it's empty. So Sterling, back up from the camera, please. Okay. Aunt Zippy says, hey. So did Brianna. All right, first thing that goes in the bottom of the pan for your enchiladas is your enchilada sauce. That keeps everything from sticking. Don't, not all of it. You're only doing some of it. No, enough to make sure that it's coated. Yeah, Maddie's over there uh, doing <laughs> Zalifa. Yeah, the apron today. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the apron today. So, Tortilla goes in the bottom of your pan. Mm -mm, don't do that. Um, it says to use two, but I'm only using a small casserole dish today because we have so much more that we're going to be making. So I'm not making a whole lot. Um, everybody that knows me knows that I don't do leftovers well. So um, the first thing that we're going to do, we have the enchilada sauce on the bottom. We are going to put. Is that here? Are y'all sure? Here, hold that. Yeah, there's a pot holder in that drawer behind you. Right here, chicken goes in. Can you guys, somebody tell me you can see what I'm doing, just to make sure, because I don't want you guys not be able to see what I'm doing down here. But we got chicken on the bottom and then we're gonna <laughs> sleep you know i don't eat leftovers girl <laughs> um we're gonna put out some of our mixture like i said it's corn black beans and tomatoes maddie everybody say hi maddie wave wave you, to you're not gonna wave yeah. they can't see her mm -hmm. all right I'm just gonna do that. you are I'm just starting it off. Get the cheese. So we got the oh. corn, tomatoes, black beans mixture. So I put a little bit of cilantro in that mixture. Um, I'm trying to get used to cilantro. I, a certain person on here loves cilantro. So I know she'll be excited about that. I love cilantro. Um, we are going to put... There's a question. Who has a question? It says, what are you putting in your red tail? Oh, okay. he's going to tell you in a minute, Bree. As soon as I get this started. Uh, green onion is going to go in here too. You're going to do it when I finish one layer, please. Oh, there's layers. Yes, it's just, it's like, almost like a lasagna. So you're going to put this in here. Um, what? Oh, it's such a small pan. Yeah, because I don't want a whole bunch left over. And that means it'll all be gone. 
When everybody goes home. Cheese. One second. So, cheese goes in. Lots of cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese. Okay, Lord. Lord. You said lots and lots of Have some self control. Jesus Christ. All right, so that's the first layer for the enchilada. Um, Sterling's going to finish putting this together, and I'm going to hand you guys over to Zaire. I don't know why Maddie's standing on the counter. And Zaire's going to tell you what he's doing back here. Do so what you're supposed to do. We are making Rotel. I'm throwing salsa in it, a can of fresh tomatoes, a brick of cheese. Little bit of cheese. I already threw it away. I will show y'all. Um, what else? Some seasonings, probably. You probably want to put jalapeno in it uh, if you want spice. Yeah, so I plan to do all that. Usually I put ground beef in it, but since it's going on tacos, we're not going to do that. Today. That's it. I can show y'all the. Um, for sure, Aunt Zippy. <laughs> I can show y'all the pie. Yeah, we're just going to move. So it's oh yeah, yeah milk. That's what I forgot. So it's milk and cheese. You see the cheese is all around the pot. I think you should do that if you ever cook this. Yeah. slight case of OCD. Let's do it the way I had it done on the bottom, please. No, we're not doing that. Come on, cheese. All right. Hey, Brian. Yeah, it's like a, you put it together like a lasagna because um, it's a casserole. So let's see. Oh, Bree, you still can't see? Yeah, no, you got to go. Zaya Bree says she can't see. Is that better? No, I don't think so. She can't see the camera. All right, so the oldest just came in the door. He is late as usual. Hey, everybody. But he's here. Carrot cake, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You didn't buy it? Wait, Hobby, you want to get sour cream? All right, Sterling, here. No. You got That's Sterling. One more layer. No, no, no. See, you're not listening. Tortilla. On the way back. Put the sauce first, don't you? I'm glad I know you washed your little hands. All right, put that on there. That's my oven preheating just in time. Oh, I'll tell him when he comes back, um, Aunt Zippy. I don't know where he got that hoodie from. Javi, uh, Ivy likes your hoodie. It's 
says you promised that his video is coming soon. What? Oh, uh, Lou, I know where your birthday is. Goodness gracious. Tell live you I said hi. Alright. More. Oh, because this is the top layer, we want the chicken on top. And the cheese goes directly on the chicken. So again, when you know how to cook already, you can make changes. You know, I brought some of your food and passed it off as mine at school, so I know how to cook. Oh, your friends think you know how to cook because just like you said, you passed off my food at school. Hey, didn't you say two days ago you were going to bake Rice Krispie Treats? Yes, he I did. He did say he was going to bake Rice Krispie no, Treats. So y'all no, remember that no. from Sunday? Sterling said he was going to bake Rice Krispie Treats. I'm now he in here talking about he know how to cook. I'm going to cook Rice Krispie Treats on the stove. You don't cook them, bro. You said bake. All you got to do is melt the marshmallow. You cook. That's called cooking. It's melting. There's no skill Cheese. called I know how to melt. Well, clearly, you don't know how to melt. Put that on there. I know how to melt. I melted plenty of things in my day. Uh, Barry, I'll bet Maddie does want to make gumbo, but we're not making gumbo. Maybe later in the summer we'll make gumbo. Probably, I'm sure it does. I'll want to try it. All right. A recipe so I since know. Sterling piled all this cheese on here, now we gotta. How much you turn it? Now we have got to fix this. But it looks good. Everything smells good. It smells good. Sterling used all the enchilada sauce. We'll put some sauce on top after it's done. Make sure they see it so it goes in the oven. So it is layers. Everything is in there. We're gonna put that in the oh you gotta cover that. Wait, who's that for? What do you mean? It's for us. everyone. Oh, okay. But we Not have a lot of stuff. I was so. gonna say like you make everybody one of those? What are you talking about? Get the foil from over there, Sterling. Uh, Deidre, I'm gonna send Sterling straight to Atlanta. When I take Zaire back to uh Morehouse, I'm dropping Sterling off. So I hope you can handle two people the same age. That's what's gonna happen to him. So you just go ahead and get him enrolled in school because he comes to live with you. So that's like a casserole or something. Yeah, it's an enchilada casserole. That's so exactly. Okay. And then we got tacos with that? Yep. Shrimp and beef. Yep. And your dip. Can you? This nigga right here still chicken. You are can can't you say that. Um, I'm sorry. Here, go watch this for me, and watch your uh, language I'm on my show. In, I'm gonna put this in the sink. I know. I need it back. So we got another guest that's coming on, um, that's participating on the show today. So if he's ready, then I'm gonna bring him on. Girl, now Zippy say you can just come to Gray. That's fine with me too. I can. I'll pack my bags. So you are you, you could be heading to that Dollar General and getting something for my um stove because that right there is not gonna all right, Sterling. Go over there with uh, Maddie, please, because all of us in this kitchen. What? I. Well, you gonna stay over there because Eric. The Co-host is gonna leave. Hello, everyone. Sorry, your thing is good. Yeah. Today we'll be doing uh, the beef be portion of the beef tacos. Um, we'll start off with what we got here. That's your ground beef. Yeah, three pounds of uh, ground beef that we'll be using today and it's 7327 um lean you know the leaner that you that you buy the less it shrinks down first what we'll be doing is we'll add a little salt let's turn my oven on and i don't like to cook too fast so i'm gonna cut my my oven on medium high your ass you need vegetable oil Oh. They're asking what you're doing. Eric's doing the beef for the beef tacos, uh, Zalika. Well, what I am going to do, I'm going to put just a tad bit of salt in the bottom so the meat don't stick. <sighs> Madeline. You can just judge it. Just make sure don't. there's a little on there. Don't talk about us. I know it sounds good on here. Maddie's throwing stuff down. Zaya's using bad language. 
we're a real family. So, you know, stuff happens in a family. Yeah, just don't talk about us. <laughs> Sweeper. We gonna text about them pants. <laughs> what pants? That's the reason for the apron. Can I see that knife over there, please? So I can what knife? What knife? I don't have one. It's in the sink, probably. Now that I got my knife you clean. You cannot get in there. I'm turning it's around Eric and... is doing what he's doing. You don't need to be in the camera. Oh, Jesus. Stop it. Try to be a little uh, fame hog. You know, it, does, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get your meat out. Also, I'm going to use a little bit of... So you need some other seasonings that you need me to get? I'm gonna use some of these diced onions. What well, um? Did you wash your hands? Always wash my hands, girl. That's one of the key factors. Always wash your hands whenever you're touching any type of food, especially whenever you're preparing for others. Madeline, what's the problem? So, by me touching the food like that, I'm going to wash my hands again. There's some hand sanitizer over here, too. Give it here. Well, I got that raw meat on there, so. I know. I'm talking about after you wash it. If you ain't hand sanitizer. Slide over. Miss Maddie. Use a little bit of hand sanitizer. Just kill any germs that that didn't. So the part of the reason for, for cooking the hamburger on medium high is so that it don't get tough on you. You just have to be over here. You know it's warm over here. You want to see what daddy's doing? You tell everybody hi? Look. Tell everybody hi. Huh? You uh, don't come over here eye or nothing. You can't eat. She checking out everything on the counter and see what she's going to ask for. She loves tomatoes, so... Mm -mm. Don't touch that. Don't touch it. No, Daddy's making it. I'm constantly moving it around also. So we don't have them big chunks of hard meat that's sometimes not cooked all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> that fun, that's funny, Miss Maddie. Mm -hmm. Maddie thinks that's funny. Get your feet off the counter. Sterling. Get the shrimp so we can start that. So we are also having shrimp tacos. So in a few minutes after he gets his uh, ground beef just about going, then we're going to have to cook the shrimp as well. We'll have to bring Zaire back in and make sure that he's um, watching over his sauce over here. Why are you taking him up? So, um, while we're waiting, 
What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing any special meals tonight? Or just tell me what y'all are having for dinner, period. What are you guys eating tonight? What they got going? Nobody's answered yet. We're waiting. Hey. I know that some of them get stuck. Go and get my other phone and find out uh, where Granny is. We'll help out the next Oh, Deidre, you're doing the shrimp tacos with us and the nachos. Hey. So that was part of my surprise, Deidre. I'm going to do, because um, I'm weird like that. I don't really eat taco shells. So, and I normally eat um, Doritos. So I am going to build this crazy one side beef shrimp um what i'm doing nachos but i'm gonna have beef on one side and i'm gonna have shrimp on the other side but in the end when we get everything done let me hold it madeline stop i'll touch this i can't be on the phone right now I'm to who's oh zippy i know is Lou cooking tonight, um, Zalipa? Stop, Madeline. Here, Sterling. You know that's what she's screaming for. She wants goldfish. Hey, don't stuff them all in there at once, please. You're in the camera acting like Maddie. Hmm? Bri, I don't do, I don't like now, hard tacos at now, all. I'm by the meat being almost done. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour some of the grease off of it. And we don't pour it in the sink, so we're just gonna put it in a glass bowl. So he's removing some of the um, fat off of the ground beef, beef right now. I'm in the way you guys can't see. Oh, Zaya wants to know what we're doing. We have Spanish rice coming um, also, but it's not here yet. She's on the way. Now, I if didn't you don't have that a, part. Oh, sorry. If you don't have a blast top stove like we do, then uh, what I suggest is wiping off your pan if any grease has spilled. I didn't spill my bread. Did you ask her? And right now it's a little it's a little reddish it's not that pink like it used to be so here momentarily it's a little bit reddish but it's not as pink as it was so that means that we probably got about another two to three more minutes on that so now what I'm about to do by the meat being almost complete. Now I'm gonna add some onions in also. But what I'm gonna do, More goldfish. I'm gonna I'm push my meat aside. And the reason for that is, if you can see, I have a it's little enough. bit of juice. I have a little bit of juice still left in the bottom of my pan. Oh, I can't see. You can't see that? Yeah, they can see you. Okay. So I'm just doing his own thing. I'm going to just put me some onions in. And de depending on what you like is how much you put in or how little that you put in. And the reason I put it in the center is so it can soak up some of that fatty beef grease. But as we all know that a pan cooks from the outside in. So that's the purpose of us putting it in the center of it. Little girl. Okay, come on. You and these goldfish. And that's another reason for cooking it on medium high. It's so 
instead of doing it super duper fast, what we do is we do it so the meat can soak in some of that onion flavor. As I said, it's still in the center of the pan. I'm Now that it's now that it's almost it's almost complete, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the center where the onions is, and I'm just gonna flip from the outside in. From the outside in. That way those onions get distributed throughout the pan. They're not too too soft and they're not too hard either. Now momentarily, what I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to drain Mom said, uh, the remainder. Mom said she here. She late, but she here. Mama is, you know. So now, now what we're going to do is, I may have to get another bowl. I'm pouring the remainder of this grease off. It's not clear. It's what's well, not clear. So, while he's um, still doing that, I am going to start doing our shrimp for our shrimp tacos. And because I'll need some of that beef when he's done too. But. I have already peeled some shrimp. It's seasoned. Adds a little bit of the shrimp, a little bit of Cajun seasoning on there. Um, I use actually commercial seasoning. Um, it's called Essence of Emerald. I used to watch Emerald way back when, like every day. And I love his seasons. He has different ones. So that's what I have on the shrimp. Um, nothing too spicy, but just enough to give it a little bowl kick. Um, so, Zaya, maybe Zaya has an update for you guys on his dip before I start with the shrimp. Oh, what am I going to do? When I finish. Yeah, it's done. I don't know if they can. You gotta turn it. Why are you just doing good? It's all out like that. Turn the whole thing. So, okay, I don't know if you guys can see Zaire. He says his dip is done. He didn't put the ground beef in, so it didn't have to cook as long. It's just the uh, cheese dip that we have tonight. And um, I'm gonna start doing this shrimp. I'm doing the shrimp in a cast iron pan, cast iron skillet so that I can get a little char on the outside of it. So Eric's finishing up his beef over there. Lord, I'm sweating. And um, he's gonna put the sauce in it. It's just the basic uh, taco seasoning that comes 
in with the little uh, the little, the little box thing. So that's what he's going to be putting in there, and um, that will be it for our V. Like I said, I'm going to use that to put together a little nacho thing here in a little while. But we are ready to do our shrimp. Um, I have some vegetable oil over here in the cast iron skillet. It's turned on about four because I want it to cook, but I don't want it to get too hard on the outside. Okay. So, do you want to say goodbye um, since you're done? Shot my dish. So, um, Holly says she's making. Um, Holly, what did you say you were making? I forgot. Just that quick. Did you say enchiladas? Yeah. Oh no. Holly's making quesadillas. Okay. That's why. Can you hit the turn it off, please? with the shrimp. I'm also going to add some green onion. Probably going to have to cut some more of that because I'm going to put some of that on the top as well. having a whole lot of fun over there entertaining herself. Why am I um? Uncle Al's on here. Hey, Shana. Hey, hey Maurice. You said Bacada. Dance. Hey, Elena. Let's see who else I haven't talked to. While my shrimp is cooking. Hey Dorian. You know who that is? No. We'll send her a little wave. I haven't done I did that to everyone last Sunday. Hey Lucy. Hey Portia. Oh, pass it 
Dow's on there too, Eric. How you doing, Pastor Dow? Hey, Cousin Pumpkin. Nobody else is going to know who that is because that's not what your name says. My name's Patricia. Say what? My name's Patricia. No, it's not. Thank you. is good to go. So I'm going to take it out, bring it over here so you guys can get a really good look at it. Sterling, can you bring a, bring a plate from over there, Sterling? Plate off the table. Y'all see it? Looks good. All right. So, let me play. So this is going to be my version of Taco Tuesday. Cause like I said, what? Um, not with this right. I don't. Cause I've been wiping my hands with it. fingerprints on it we have to get rid of that doritos um so like i was saying before so i started talking right here i'm kind of weird i don't eat like traditional tacos um instead i make i do mine with doritos so that's what we're gonna put together Daya, can you come in and give me some of your sauce um, somebody's going to end up having to help me eat this because it's, it's going to turn out to be a lot when I get done. Um, he got it. Of course, yeah, my co-host will make sure. Um, so the first part of it, I mean, because you left all of your stuff over there. Can you watch me too? I need a spoon for this piece. Can you 
can come and assist. That's fine. Yeah, what did you need that for? For the dip? Oh, here. You can have it. But thoroughly get me another one. Alright, so I'm going to do this all. <laughs> no, Maurice, we are not doing wings tonight. That's another night. And that's also Zaire's specialty, too. So when we do wings, we'll have to bring Zaire back because he's the wing person in here. Yeah, but I thought um, you did say we were doing wings tonight. Well, but y'all said y'all didn't want him, so I didn't what? know. Who said that? Yeah, that's not true. I didn't know. Well, <laughs> Now they're saying they wanted wings, but I know they say they did. So one side we're gonna do beef. Um, I'm just putting together a little nacho ensemble here. Nacho, mama. Uh oh, almost lost all my chips. I don't need to just yet. So and then on the other side, we are gonna do. We're gonna do shrimp on the other side. <laughs> Maurice say he leaving because we ain't got no oh, no wings. You don't have to act like that, Maurice. Like really. Maurice is a wing. He, he wing king is who he is. No, that's it. Uh oh, the shrimp got away. I don't want it. I'm not gonna use all the avocado. Boy, that's too much. Like, what are you doing? All right, so we're going to get a little bit of... Open that cheese and stop it. We're going to get a little bit of cheese dip on here. So Zaya is trying to tell me how I should set up my was, nachos. Taco, boom, boom, taco, I don't strong. want it your boom like boom taco. Boom boom. Yeah, it was fried, and then That's you get good. the sauce. All right. Sauce so anyway, for so I have some cheese sauce on my ground beef, and no. Now I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce on my beef side. I will do the shrimp side in a second. And so we're gonna do regular tomatoes on shrimp side, on beef side. Would you like some cheese? And some shredded cheese. Well, this isn't your plate, so guess what? Where's my plate that I'm gonna have to eat it? Sorry, All right, so we got beef side done. Now, my shrimp side, which is gonna be my favorite side. See beef side? See how pretty that looks? Yeah, All right. Yeah, Don't worry about my text messages for. My shrimp side, I'm gonna put some of my corn, black beans, and tomato um, mixture on that we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of jal diced jalapenos on there I also have a little bit of cilantro we're gonna sprinkle on there. You can't do too much cilantro because those of you that like cilantro, you know it can be really, really strong. Um, I've got fresh avocado. Love my avocado. So that's going in there. So give me a fork. Avocado going on here. on there two-sided nachos y'all see that 
beef on one side, shrimp on the other side, Doritos on the bottom. Three, I cannot wait to even dig into this. I'm not gonna do it on camera because I probably have food all over the place. Um, but I'm not, I am gonna do a little bit of fresh tomato on my shrimp side too, only because I love fresh tomato as well. And with that, cilantro and avocado, it's just gonna be so good. And we're gonna do a little bit of cheese on there. So for our salsas now, I have just a regular, regular store-bought salsa. That's gonna go on the beef side um for this salsa but for my shrimp side i have a peach salsa so that's what we're going to put on the other side i'm not going to put it on there yet because i don't want it to get to get soggy before i um no don't bring that in yet i don't want it to get soggy before it's time for me to eat so here that is can you guys see that it looks it's so so good all right so we got that done we did yeah not doing they're not paying me the advertise they bring um so now we got that done oh we just had some more guests come through the door we are gonna look um check on our casserole in the oven to see what it's doing Sleep it is fancy. Alright. So I just took the foil off of the enchilada um <coughs> casserole. It needs to stay in just a little bit longer just to get everything really, really together. Um so that is what we had for today. Uh, let me see. Okay, sorry y'all. I'm not working my phone either. Um, that's all we had going today. I'm really, really about to enjoy these nachos. We have our um, beef over here that Eric did. This is not the top. Like I said, we're a real family. He just found the top that fit. Um, we have our beef over here for our beef tacos. We've got shrimp for shrimp tacos. All of our toppings are here. Um, we have our enchilada casserole that's still in the oven. It's still cooking a little bit. I just checked on it. The cheese is melting, but it's, it's, it's getting there. Of course, we'll post pictures of everything in the end. And, um... So our rice and our refried beans just got here. So we also have that on our menu. Um, Paige made that for us. So we'll I'll make sure that I tag her when we post everything. And I got some pepper somewhere, excuse me. Um, so we're getting ready to enjoy our Taco Tuesday. And I hope you guys are enjoying yours. Um, I saw some of the stuff that everybody made. So, um, does anybody else want to come say hello before I say goodbye? I said no. Well, that was Paige in the background. Y'all heard her? So, um, I am going to ask that everybody come in, everybody that participated in the show, come back and say goodbye. Come back for our ending. Sterling, come on. Zaire. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our No, back. no. <laughs> Definitely not, not about to borrow a song either. Where, where did Maddie go? Excuse me, coming oh, in, bro. Come on now. Hey, pick Maddie up off the off her chair. Oh, I forgot. Zion's here. Zion, you want to come say hello? Maddie. Come on, say hello, Zion. Maddie, come come on. on, the whole family's here. Come you on. might as well come say hello. Come on. So we can say goodbye and let everybody go enjoy their their Taco Tuesday. We can enjoy ours. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We were avoiding that because we're not exactly. Tell me.
trying to figure out how y'all just left that. So on, I'm, Charlie. I'm actually going to step out because it's, it's really tight in here. So. Say something to the camera, Charlie. Whole family in the camp. We tried. Everybody tried. All right. Come on. Hold on, Javi. There he goes. Photo bomb. That was good, Javi. I'm sorry. Sterling. All right, you guys. Hey, Brandon, you are so late. How you just getting in here? Well, you, he looks so oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uncle B. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, Zalifa's asking for Charlie. There she goes, uh, Zippy. Hey, hey. Travis late, too. You don't need me? Mm -mm, yeah, wave, mm -mm. wave to him. Say hi. Y'all get a wave. You know All right. Say hi to the camera, Charlie. Somebody say, what up, little Eli? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was Brandon. So, thank you guys for tuning in with us. Um, so, we will be back on Saturday for my Mother's Day special. I'll be doing that one alone. Y'all don't have to deal with the, the ghetto family uh, drama. I'll be, make, I'll be making my Rice crispy specialty. Sterling's not making Rice crispy. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. I'll be making So, um... Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. We are really, really having fun with this. So I will see you guys on Saturday.